This episode is sponsored by Shutterstock.com. With over 20 million high quality stock photos, illustrations, vectors, and video clips, Shutterstock helps you take your creative projects to the next level. For 30% off your new account, go to Shutterstock.com and use offer code GAMEBREAKER6. This episode is also brought to you by Audible. For a free 30-day trial and to receive a free audiobook, just head on over to audible.com slash GameBreaker. GameBreaker TV. Yeah, 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 what's up, y'all? This is your boy, Donnell. And before we get started, I just want to kind of reach out to you guys, the viewers, and I want to connect with y'all because, you know, we know each other, what, like a week, right? Something like that. Now, that's long enough for y'all to know one thing. Donnell pretty chill. Now, I know sometimes y'all with your girlfriend, you start thinking about Donnell, you're like, Donnell pretty chill, and your girlfriend like, yeah, Donnell pretty chill. But it's kind of where I am, right, for the most part. Now, sometimes, sometimes, there's this thing that happens, and, you know, it doesn't really sit well with me. <laughs> I know, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but Darnell, what's wrong with the fire Festival? I really love the fire Festival sometimes when it happens with the fireworks and stuff. Well, that's good for you, kid, and I'm really happy for you, but check this out. I got a little bit of history, right? So check this out. My roommate, Buzz, right, from last year when we had the fire Festival, he thought he was little Mr. Funny Man with the fireworks and stuff. And you're probably thinking, well, that ain't very tragic. You know, I have roommates too sometimes that do stuff. No, no, no. So check this out. Now, because Bud's thinking he's a funny man, I had to go sleep somewhere else, right? So I'm up there. I'm thinking, I found the best place to sleep, right? I'm just like, and I'm doing my thing. And then all of a sudden, watch. Now, how you going to tell me that ain't traumatization causing? So irregardlessly speaking, I know some of y'all asking y'all, did Darnell, hey, can you tell me what I do for the fire Festival because I want my silly little achievements and make me look all fancy on the forums and stuff. All right, well, check this out. I'm going to show y'all what to do to get y'all little silly achievements. First thing you got to do is you get the moon glade by standing under this hill, magic light. Now, when you get there, you got to be careful, right, because these damn hippies everywhere and it's having a good time. You got to kind of avoid them, right? You don't want to get caught up in that kind of crowd. You got to be with your boy Darnell and do that stuff at home. Now, I'm not one to be listening to no quest givers, but I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be setting off some fireworks here and something's supposed to come out with like some kind of silly little piece or something. Then you kill it and you get your achievements. But for whatever reason, it wasn't working. Anyways, there's more things to do besides sitting around waiting for Blizzard to fix this stuff. So I decided to move on to this next quest that said you gotta go run around to the old dudes and be like, yo, give me some coin. And then you get them coins. That's it, right? So I decided to run around and do that, right? So I'm all like, break yourself. Boom, break yourself. Oh, break yourself. So once I got me enough coin, I went back to Moonglade and I decided to go and buy me a nice little shiny blue robe, right? So I'm sitting there in my blue robe. I'm like, yeah, this blue robe is sexy. There's only one problem, though. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much all we got for this week. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to see y'all next week. And, and I hope I see you guys next week. <laughs> I can't stand you, bro. See you my life, bro.